So I'm going to show you briefly how functions work and talk you through why when we run this function it doesn't return x, or sorry, it doesn't print the x that we get from the function. Now to find this out we're going to use debug. Debug helps us to step through the algorithm. So first thing we do is just looking at the step into, we're just going to go through the algorithm. So the first thing is the variable at the top here, x, is um, past the value 5. Now you'll notice that when we get to the function it skips straight past it because obviously it's declared but it's not run. So now what we're doing here is we're just asking for input from the keyboard. So I'm going to find 15 here into value 1. You can see the variable val1 is now assigned with the value 15. And then value 2, I'm going to pass that a 10. So value 1 and 2 have 15 and 10. And when we get down to the actual function call, you can see now that those variables val1 and val2 are going to be passed as arguments. You can see the 15's now have been assigned and the 10's been assigned and we'll see that when I press the next step it should open the function window. There we go. So we're now running the function. So value1 and value2 or val1 and val2 have been passed as num1 and num2 as parameters into the function. And we're just going to add those together and then we're going to add the result with 10. So we get 35 and we return that value to the function. So we've returned 35 back to function 1. Now, when we get to here, probably most of you are expecting that when we go to print x, that it should print 35. But although we've passed return, sorry, the value 35 back to the function, we haven't specifically told it to do anything. So therefore, when we go to print x, it's actually going to print 5. Okay? Now, if we wanted to print the returned value from function 1, we would have to say print function 1, bracket value 1, value 2. And these are some of the vagaries of how functions work and also why you shouldn't use global variables like this, or at least use variable names that occur more than once in an algorithm. And here we go, there's the value 5 printed.